Hey, what is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video on my sports, Gamatria. In this video, I'm going to go over all the NBA games for Wednesday, March 10th, 2021. I'm going to show you both sides of each game, and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I am picking in these games, you'll have to join my Patreon where my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Let's go ahead and get into today's games. We have the Wizards versus the Grizzlies. And then we have the Spurs versus the Mavericks. So we only have two games on Wednesday uh, to get back into the full swing of the season. Date numerology, daily numbers on this side, Gregorian, Hebrew civil, Hebrew religious. And then on this side, I have what I call my game numbers. I have the away team up top here, their season record, their coach, head-to-head -head between the two, and then the home team record and their coach here at the bottom. So we have the Wizards versus the Grizzlies. Grizzlies are a slight favorite at home to open up the second half of the season. And um, got some Gregorian connections here. Wizards... It's their 35th game of the season. It's also their 18th away game for the season. Today has 18 date numerology on the Gregorian and 18 sums to 35. 18 also sums to 73, which is the 21st prime number. Wizards with the loss could get their 21st loss for the season in their 18th away game, 35th game of the season. If that were to happen... Grizzlies, they would uh, sit on 21 regular season, or excuse me, 21 all-time head-to-head losses against Wizards as the Wizards get their 21st loss for the season. The number 21, if we spell it out, sums to 141. And just because I've done this so much, I know that 811 is the 141st prime number. Grizzlies would become 8 and 11, like 811, the 141st prime, as they sit on 21 all-time head-to-head -head losses as Wizards get their 21st loss for the season. 21 sums to 141. So you have this 811 here. You have this 21, this 21, their 18th and their 35th. So it looks like heavy for Grizzlies. I mean, we can even keep it going. If Grizzlies win this game, they would become 2-0 head-to-head -head against the Wizards like 20. The number 20 sums to 28. And it also sums to 55. And Grizzlies can get their 28th all-time head-to-head win against the Wizards as they become 2-0 head-to-head against the Wizards for the season as their coach on the Grizzlies sits on 55 regular season losses for his career the Wizards coach it's his 353rd regular season game 353 is the 71st prime number 71 I don't care about Albertson's 71 is the 20th prime number With that being said, though, this actually can play in the favor for the Wizards. Wizards come into this game sitting on 20 losses. So in their coach's 353rd regular season game, the 71st prime number, 71 the 20th prime number, Wizards can just simply sit on 20 losses for the season. They would get their 15th win for the season if they were to win. 15, if I can spell it correctly, 15 sums to 34. Today does have 34 date numerology on the Gregorian. 34 sums to 56. And Grizzlies coach, he would get his 56 loss regular season for his career. Wizards could just go ahead and even the score 1-1 -on head-to-head against the Grizzlies. More often than not, that will happen. But there is a nice little 20 pattern for Grizzlies, and there's a 21 pattern as well. So you're really just going to have to decide, is this 21 pattern here? And then the 811, is that too much, or is it just right? Or is it a little bit more subtle with the 15 and the 56 
and it's really the coach's 353rd connection that goes to the Wizards versus Grizzlies going 2-0 and like 20. Their coach sitting on that 55 and then getting that 28. So you have two different narratives here. Let's go on to the uh, next game. Spurs versus the Mavericks. Again with the 18 date numerology on the Gregorian. 18 sums to 35. This is the Mavericks. Co this is the Mavericks. Uh, I was gonna say Mavericks coaches, but this is the Mavericks 35th game. It's their 18th home game, so it's very similar to the Wizards. Their 35th game, 18th away game. Mavericks, their 35th game, 18th home game. Mavericks come into this game sitting on 18 wins for the season, but so does the Spurs. So either one of these two teams is gonna sit on 18 wins for the season. Uh, we're gonna figure out which one it's gonna be. Mavericks, they play tomorrow, and if today has 18 date numerology, tomorrow has 19 date numerology. So if Mavericks lose today, they could potentially get their 19th tomorrow. Or if they win today and get their 19th, they can go into tomorrow's game on a day with 19 date numerology with 19 wins. So that can go either way. Today has 9 date numerology on the Gregorian. 34 is the 9th Fibonacci number. Mavericks with a loss can become 9-9 nine and nine at home for a season record with the loss. 9 plus 9 equals 18, and they would sit on 18 wins for the season. But with that being said, Spurs can also just sit on 9 uh, and away wins with a loss. The number 18 does sum to 73, and Mavericks could just go ahead and get their 73rd regular season head-to-head -head win against the Spurs. Spurs would get their 15th loss for the season. 15, as we already talked about, sums to 34. So two teams, potentially, Spurs can get their 15th loss for the season. Wizards potentially can get their 15th win for the season. 15 sums to 34, and today has 34 date numerology on the Gregorian. So we're seeing similarities between these two games of how each team can go either way. It is the uh, an interesting connection for Mavericks, though. It's the 222nd all-time head-to-head matchup between these two. And if Mavericks do win this game, their coach would get his 813th regular season win for his career. 813 sums to 222 so i thought that was interesting this is the second head-to-head -head matchup between these two for the regular season it's the 222nd all time 813 does sum to 222 so that could be a good one for the mavericks spurs coach the 629 629 629 sums to 103 and today is, you know, the 10th of March, 10 slash 3 or 3 slash 10. All right, so I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Hopefully I've given you enough information on both sides uh, that potentially could help you out. And um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.